Hello everybody, thanks for joining and watching uh, part 2 beginner's guide. Uh, sorry it took so long to get posted, but uh, some things have happened recently, so uh, I apologize for that. But anyhow, so for this video we are focusing on lures. Um, Anybody that has just started uh, Russian Fishing 4, I'm sure by now, <clears throat> are probably to the point to where they um, might need, or they might need to have some help with learning to spin fish, using lures, so on and so forth. So this is why I'm making this video. So now, just to start out, as you can see uh, on the screen we got all these different lures here some of them I have purchased so this isn't what you normally start out with so uh, we'll kind of go through here and um, I'll give you some recommendations that I think are good uh, you know everybody has their opinion on you know what works for them the best which really uh, something that I might recommend may not work for you uh, it seems like as my wife and myself play through the game it seems more and more like the game basically is like real fishing to where it's just sort of a luck of the draw type thing you know uh, just like when you go out to fish for real you know you just go ahead and try to go through different lures different baits and find out what works best for you uh, something that you can look forward to though I just want to let you know there will be a picture on the video is of my personal best that I did catch today. It was a 15.9 kilogram catfish that I did catch out of Winding Rivulet, which is one of the starting areas. So don't fret and don't think you're not going to catch anything because I was just using night night crawler and caught an almost 16 kilogram fish, which is huge. So same thing with the lures. The ones that you start out with, it could turn out to be some of your best ones. So, just to kind of get into it further here, uh, I want to make mention the USSR Old Spinner Lure. Now, uh, if you remember in the previous video, if you go to Cottage Pond and get the free spinning gear, you will get this lure as part of the package. Uh, it has served me well for quite some time. It has made me quite a bit of money off some large fish. Uh, <clears throat> also, the, the Copper Siberia Dragonfly Original 1005. Um, that one has not worked for me as well. Uh, it has caught me a few fish but nothing spectacular so I tend not to use that one very much now the Zeman Spiker number 2012 this is one that we just started using recently and have found out that it seems to work extremely well at winding rivulet right now <clears throat> uh, that doesn't mean that it may not may not work later uh, but then again you know sometime in the near future it may not work but uh, <clears throat> in our experience it's working really well for us so that's what we've been using quite a bit the next one I'm that I have on my list is the Zeman Spiker number 2016. Same lure, the only difference is, is this one is black with pink dots. 
Uh, again, that one has been working okay. Uh, usually more towards the evening. Uh, some places, depending on where you are, it can work really well during the day. And also, you got to take into consideration the time of day or night, the weather conditions, so on and so forth. Now the next one is the Zeman Spiker number 2018. <clears throat> now that one uh, I did get because I have watched other videos online and they recommended this one. This one has done fairly well for us. Uh, lately it seems like it hasn't worked as well as it did before since the update on 621 <clears throat> so um, again it will catch fish for us from time to time but not as good as the green spiker does now the next one uh, in the lineup is the uh, Aquila 4 gram 004 that one is kind of an oddball uh, but overall when fish aren't biting really well uh, it can prove useful just depending on the situation now next one would be the Aquila 4 gram 006 this purple one I, I have liked it quite a bit it has seemed to work for me fairly well at night mainly um, so you know that I would recommend trying out uh, once you have the money maybe uh, right now I would definitely recommend the green spiker right here uh, like I said that's working for us extremely well right now <clears throat> the next one the drag dragonfly long 1003 um, that one I use very rarely it seems like it doesn't work very well for much of anything that I've seen. I've caught maybe a total of five fish altogether on it. Um, and the time that I've played the game. So that one I usually don't even try at this point. Next one is the Dragonfly Long 1004. Um, this one, before the update, was catching me some very big pike. Um, also, it was catching, I believe it was uh, pike bigger than what my equipment could handle. Because either it got broken off or it said that a fish, or a fish bit through the line. <clears throat> so, at that time, I would have recommended it. Now... It's another kind of oddball one to where uh, sometimes it may work for you, sometimes it may not. You just want to kind of try it out, uh, get a feel for it, and it might work for you. Um, the next one, I, I just kind of bought this to see what would happen. It's the Dragonfly Long 1006. <clears throat> now it's, you know, similar to the other Dragonflies. And uh, I've caught a few fish on it, nothing major. Um, it's one of the cheap lures, and it's, you know, caught enough fish that I got my money back. Uh, that's all I can say for that one. Next, the Dragonfly Bell 2002. This one really hasn't caught a whole lot of anything uh, for us, really, so we really don't use that one at all. Uh, next would be the Bell 2004. That one, quite a while back, uh, used to catch me some extremely big pike. Um, now, I have tried it in different areas and scenarios. Not really catching anything on it. So, <clears throat> that's it for that one. Next one is the Dragonfly Stream 2004. Now this one I do believe you start out with. Uh, this one seems to work pretty decent. 
in certain areas so I would re recommend trying it um, it may work for you then again it may not but I definitely at least give it a try see how it fares uh, the next one is the dragonfly stream 2007 now this one is you know the same type of model as the other one uh, this one has worked at night uh, it has caught some pretty decent fish uh, before the update it was catching some pretty nice sized brown trout out of Balea River uh, since update hasn't been doing too well so again you know you can try it uh, it might work for you uh, and again you know we got the tiger like uh, dragonfly long this is the 3004 this is the 10 gram one as you can see here now this one uh, every once in a great while might catch something uh, recently we just started experimenting with the bigger lures and every now and then we can catch something on them uh, we haven't got to the point to where uh, we're somewhere where fish are really liking the the bigger lures that are 10 grams or above again this is another dragonfly bell silver one it's the 4002 it's 12 gram haven't caught anything on it yet uh, the next one dragonfly bell 4005 12 gram haven't caught anything off of it yet Next one is the Zeman Hornet, number 3006. Uh, this one was given to me by my wife. This one is 12 gram. And <clears throat> this one can sometimes actually catch you fish. Um, if you happen to be in the right spot, you know, it's worth, to, it's worth a try to toss it out. See if you could get something. Now, just to let you know, this is one of the more expensive lures. So, uh, I would recommend possibly getting getting something like this later on in the game. Uh, now, this one is, you know, a similar version to its 7 gram counterpart. Dragonfly Stream 4004. This one's 17 grams. Again, I haven't caught anything on it. Uh, neither the Dragonfly Stream 4007. Again, 17 grams. Uh, haven't caught anything on the big big ones same with this uh, spiker 6018 or the dragonfly bell 6004 again you know 18 grams and 18.05 grams <clears throat> have not caught anything on those at all something else that I have uh, which you might have too if you bought starter kits this is the Icon Fat S003, 9 gram. I've tried this a few times. Don't seem to catch anything on it. Same with the Icon Fat S005. Same thing. Don't seem to catch anything on it. Uh, the Icon Slim M004. Now, this is an 18 gram lure. However, I have caught a fish on this. Um... Same with its counterpart, the Icon Slim M006. They're both 18 gram, and I have caught a couple fish off of each. So, like I said, you just got to kind of experiment and find out what works best for you. Next one that I purchased personally was a Funky Minnow F7002. This is 5 gram. Now, this is something that was recommended... Um, by some other videos so just out of curiosity I grabbed it to try it I caught a couple fish off of it but nothing substantial so again it would be up to you it does work a little bit different and uh, <clears throat> we'll get into how that works later on here we got the PS crank C5 it's 7 gram uh, we have thrown this out and caught a couple fish off of it. Again, nothing substantial. Here we have the uh, Humpy C7. 
It's 9.1 gram. I've thrown it out a couple times, caught a couple fish, nothing substantial at all. <clears throat> and then we got a top water here, the original Popper 4 F001. It is 5 grams. <clears throat> I have tried tossing it out to try top water. Uh, it can work. I'm trying to perfect it a little bit more, but I have caught a few fish off of it. And then we got some soft plastics. We got the real minnow 4003, 4004, then the real worm 7001, real worm 7003, and the super minnow 6 uh, clear F. <clears throat> now, I think all of these come in the starter pack except for the super minnow. Now, I just want to let you know that I have not tried any of these yet. Um, what I have recently discovered is that in order to use them, you do have to add hooks to them, which is uh, something we could go ahead and <clears throat> kind of go over. It is helpful. However, uh, now that we've kind of went over those, now to let you know as far as the at least the spinners are concerned they are lures that you can just cast out and do an even retrieve back to you so for example uh, you can take uh, the green spiker as I call it uh, this one here and go ahead and you can throw it out set your retrieval speed with R and your middle mouse wheel um, my personal favorite speed is 16 and once that is set you just go ahead and hold down the left mouse button to reel it in until it's reeled in all the way cast out again rinse and repeat <coughs> you can do that with all of these spinners um, Although, from what I've seen, you can try retrieval speeds anywhere from 16 upwards uh, to 25. And you can catch fish. Just depends on the fish and how picky they are. You know, if they're really super active, they might hit at a 25 retrieval speed versus a 16. And vice versa. They might have lazy day. So uh, they're only going to hit at a 16 retrieval speed. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, like I said, just go ahead, kind of play around with things. See what works for you best. Uh, hopefully I will have some comments in this video. So that way you can all comment. Let me know, you know, what you're finding productive. Uh, the things you're doing, retrieval speeds, you know, things like that. <clears throat> uh, we're all here to help one another, and I like to keep this going, hopefully on a weekly basis. So I will start picking up the pace and trying to make sure that I do one of these videos, you know, every week for, for everybody. So that way everybody's kept in the loop and everybody knows what's going on. So, another thing I would definitely like to talk about here, and let me get into it. Uh, it's nice and dark with the house there. <clears throat> okay, so... Oh, let me see, now I forgot where I need to go here. Alright, here we go. Skills. <clears throat> now, this is something that a lot of people don't realize is in the game when they first start so they're fishing 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 you know things are going good and things of that nature then all of a sudden they happen to find this and they're like oh I didn't know I had skills well I'm just gonna briefly kinda go over the skills and uh, I'm not gonna tell you you know what to bit to pick on this this is all up to you and how you wanna kinda mold your character depending on what you wanna do so, this first one here is float fishing. 
and we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. So, oh, looks like I have a point available to put in, actually. But uh, in any event, so this is your fl float fishing skill tree. And uh, as you see, you'll have these circles with uh, these separations, and they're going to be ones, if they are open, you'll be able to put boy points into them. And uh, then again, you might have some that are like this. It doesn't have no separation. Uh, it's because it's automatically selected for you. So as you can see with me, I put three with in fishing with a telescopic rod. Um, basically, if you click on it over here, it gives you the details of what the points will do. And with the teles or the telescopic rod, uh, putting points in it gives you casting distance and accuracy plus five percent for each point that you put into it, and con uh, better control of the fish. Uh, looks like it goes by threes: three, six, nine, twelve. Uh, yeah, fifteen. So yeah, that goes by three percent each time. So. Uh, if you really want to work on your float fishing, I'd recommend going ahead and putting in points here. <clears throat> now one thing that is interesting, and I'm not sure why they have it in here, is using a spin reel, or a spinning reel. Uh, that's not used with float fishing, uh, but uh, maybe I can figure out an answer later on. Uh, as I'm playing the game so also some of these that you're not able to put points in uh, for example let's see like this one it does say in order to get fishing with a sandwich bait <clears throat> uh, you have to get this ability up to 80 percent so what that means is if you like float fishing a lot and stuff if you just got to keep float fishing in, until you hit 80% and then that will automatically unlock for you. Alright, so next thing we got is spin fishing. Again, same thing with the points, things like that. As you can see, I have it up to almost 66%. That's because that's my main fishing is spin fishing. Um, I love to spin fish. It keeps you busy and active with the game. So I really, really like it. I have put heavy points into this, obviously, because this is one of my main ways I fish. And it's what I like. So other people might like to float fish a lot more. So you're going to put more points in there. Um, some people might like to bottom fish more. So they're going to put, you know, more points in there. Um, what I would recommend is if you can part with some of the points, what I would recommend doing is uh, put your points in, you know, whichever one you're going to use most, float fishing or spin fishing. And then put some points also in bottom fishing. Uh, <clears throat> bottom fishing, yes, can be boring to some. Uh, some people like to fish that way. Um, but overall, if you at least kind of spread your points between <clears throat> either float and bottom or float and spin you definitely will have a better chance of catching different types of trophies which uh, trophies you know uh, in game you ha have a chat where if your fish are big enough it's posted in chat uh, when you get a trophy if it's big enough it could be posted as like the weekly fish that's been caught for its size uh, things of that nature and you are able to receive in-game 
prizes like silver. Um, other than that, I don't know if there's anything else you can receive other than the silver for a really big fish. But uh, again, I haven't really experienced much of anything yet. I have caught some trophies. Uh, I believe I've caught five or six, something like that. But uh, <clears throat> slowly working on that. So, again, like I said before, you know, if there's separations, you can put points. If there's not any separations, again, it's going to, you know, open up automatically once you get to that percentage. Then, of course, like I said, you got bottom fishing. Again, same thing. Uh, now you got harvesting baits. Uh, believe it or not. Uh, especially if you like to bottom fish, I would really recommend uh, splitting up your time when you're fishing. Uh, if you want to take a day or two to where you're not spin fishing, just do like float and bottom for instance. And uh, once you've cast it out, go ahead, take a moment uh, and dig. To harvest baits you know like worm red worm uh, and in order to do that you do have to buy uh, a shovel from the, sh the hardware store but I highly recommend it uh, it is going to be your best friend later on because you are able to make some baits uh, that you're not able to buy and some of these baits are incredibly good uh, if you look at uh, the ranks at each different uh, lake or river uh, you can actually go into it and see what people have been using to catch the really super big fish um, so I highly recommend working on this um, at first I kind of sl uh, slacked on it uh, but now I'm starting to work on it I'm getting close to 40 percent <clears throat> which I can't wait because of 40 percent I'm able to make pea porridge and that's something that seems to catch quite a few big carp um, it used to be back when I first started the game carp were really easy to catch with just uh, some warm or wet bread now it seems like um, they're a harder type of fish to catch so now uh, I'm trying to work hard to get this up so I can start landing some of those big carp. <clears throat> now, as far as putting points in these, uh, if you want, you could put a couple points in these. Uh, like it's shown here in the description, when you put points in them, uh, each upgrade increases the probability of digging for bait successfully. Uh, now, like harvesting red worms, each upgrade increases prob probability of harvesting red worms. Also, it becomes possible to harvest several worms at once. So, uh, it can be very helpful. As you see, I got at least one point in each. Uh, I figured that would help at least some. Uh, overall, uh, it's evened out because uh, you do a lot of harvesting. So, I'd say one in each is fine, unless uh, specifically you really need red worms because you're targeting something, <clears throat> or just worms in general, then, you know, feel free to go ahead and put more points in those if you like. Cooking. Uh, cooking, as you can see, all of them that I have highlighted are all zeros. That's because they do not take any points whatsoever. Uh, this, you just have to make a bunch of food or drink and get up to the percentage to open those up. So super easy. You don't have to worry about wasting points. <clears throat> Making ground bait. Now, this is something where mixing a ground bait, that's the only place you have to put points. And it looks like the rest are open by percentage. So, uh, as you can see, I only have one point here right now. Uh, because you are able to catch some large carp just on the regular 
harvesting baits that you can make so I am doing that right now once I get to the point to where I have good enough gear to target uh, you know even larger carp and they're a little more picky I'll probably put a couple more points in this so that way I can upgrade the quality of my ground bait and um, I can start looking at <clears throat> the things that I need uh, for particular carp as far as ground baits concerned. And the last thing is making lures. I have not done anything in this at all yet. Um, this is something that's kind of new to me. Uh, I do understand that <clears throat> you are able to make lures and uh, obviously if you put points in here uh, it's going to make the lures a better quality from the metals and things that you use so uh, at this point in time I'm just leaving that alone uh, I'm just purchasing lures outright instead I know that if I actually did this that I might save a little bit of money I'm not sure how much but I don't think it's enough to really uh, make it to where I, w I would have a need to put points in here <clears throat> so let me go ahead and get uh, my point put in here I'm gonna fill up my fishing with a spinning rod because again um, use those lures a lot so I want to go ahead and max that out as much as I can and uh, you know that finishes that area hopefully you'll have a better idea of what's going on here and really quick I'll just show you up here it has skills selected if you hit statistics <clears throat> it'll show you real quick like I was showing it looks like I've caught six trophies to date so far and it'll show you things like my record total weight for a day has been 42 kilograms I've completed a number of cafe orders also I want to make mention if I didn't in the first video uh, cafe orders they can be your best friend always always check those out and compare what you can make on a cafe order to what you can do as far as just fill it, selling the fish at the fish market uh, usually about seven out of ten times uh, you might be better off selling to the cafe because you'll make more money just a little tip there uh, also it shows like the experience points you need for the next level how many experience points you have how many days you have in game as you see as you can see I have 184 days in game so far it also shows you how many fish you've lost which is a sad face but it happens uh, how many fish you caught which I've caught 3088 so far and uh, as I was saying my personal best is right here the 15.9 kilogram catfish um, was not expecting that that was pretty amazing uh, I'm glad I got to bring that in so now I know what to look forward to uh, moving up in levels <clears throat> also you know like biggest amount of silver for a fish uh, that shows a grayling that I caught at 3.8 kilograms on the spiker number 2018 at Blair River uh, again that was before the update sad face again huh um, so on so forth uh, like record catch float tackle was a 2.8 kilogram common carp on wet bread at Old Berg so there's a lot of information here uh, trophies that you've caught at different lakes like if I go to widening rivulet I've caught several trophy chub but that's the biggest one uh, Blea I caught a trophy grayling so on and so forth uh, your qualifications you'll get these as you keep fishing 
uh, with your different styles. Um, there's th things that you got to meet in order to get the ranks. And uh, as you keep fishing, you will start filling those out and get ranks. Like right now, I'm a rank two feeder master. Um, so working on that right now. That's for bottom fishing. <clears throat> Classic spinning. I'm not doing too well on um, so far. It looks like I got to catch a fish weighing at least five kilograms using a spinner. Haven't done that yet. Hoping to here real soon. Um, and then catch seven types of fish using a wobbler. Uh, which is one of the lures. So far, I, it looks like I only need three more in order to complete that. Uh, also, I'll list your achievements here. This will list all your achievements that you've, you've currently got. Or ones that you still need to get. Or I'll even show you your progress, which is something that's really cool. Then you got personal awards received during the game. Don't have any of those yet. Not sure what those are, so we'll see what happens. But uh, hopefully that helps you all out. Uh, hopefully you better understand the game. And uh, hope you have fun playing. And again, I'm sorry about the time frame of the video. Uh, I'll try to make sure that I try to hit them every week uh, from here on out. Uh, that way, yeah, you'll be kept current on the game and maybe you know some good spots of fish. So until then, uh, it was nice talking to you all. And I hope you all have best of luck in game. And keep on fishing.